Thank you so much for joining me on my Artful Stampin' channel here on YouTube and welcome if you're a returning visitor, it's always great to uh, hear from you and if you're watching on the live, hello! So I was thumbing through Pinterest earlier today, I can't even remember what I was looking for, I, it, it might have just been I've got a spare five minutes and I want to look on Pinterest for something and I came across an image of purple and grey kind of watercolours and it, just pretty florals, you know, purple and grey, nothing, you know, overly spectacular, but just really different, I thought. Just, I've not, I don't think I've ever done purple and grey before. And I thought, you know what, I might just have a go doing that tonight because... I need to do something beautiful and creative for my watchers and followers, so I thought I would do that. So I'm going to start with Christmas season, which is not long to go now. I've got to sneeze. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Not long to go now, and this is going to be available. And it's just got some really lovely kind of leaves in it. Now, the other day I was doing a class and the lovely Linda Yamakoda was in my class and she did a lovely thing with this stamp here. She stamped it and then with her pen she coloured it in so it looked like the ends were like berries. So might do that technique today, just might. And the when I was looking at this lovely piece on Pinterest it had sort of poppy-like flowers on it and I thought this is a good excuse to get out painted poppies which has been with us a little while now and it's such a pretty wee set and just been neglected a little bit I think by myself because I have lots of other pretty things to play with but I thought you know what I think I might just play with this one today so let's have a look who's on the live hello Christine, Subu, Mindy, Valerie, Cindy, Deborah, Monica, Valerie, Glenna, Janine. Hi Donna. Oh, lovely to see you. Nice to see you. I hope you're enjoying your summer holiday. Hi Monica, Jan, Paula, Judy. Hello Miss Judy. Hi Martina. Lovely to see you all. Okay, well let's get started. I know some of you have got to go, so if I get started quickly, hopefully you'll get a bit of a flavour of what this is all going to be about. So, floral. Uh, you know, I love a bit of floral, you know me. And um, also some beautiful foliage. So I'm going to kind of stamp clusters. I've got a little bit of a cluster happening there. Might just go for a little more of a crust over here, and I'm not going, you know, trying to do a repeat pattern. If anything, this is a bit like that whole Bespo kind of style where it's a little bit more free form. But I certainly do want a cluster, so I might just pop that lovely side view poppy there. I might pop one a bit further away, like so. Another one up here, and then tuck this one in. So it's kind of repeating the motif, motif, sorry, not motif, <laughs> that's something different, but having it kind of perhaps do something a bit different. So there we go, right. Well, I'm happy with that for now. Hello, Miss Linda. Hello, Georgiana. Hi, Monica. You did. And uh, I have got your address. Thank you so much. And I'll get that sent off probably tomorrow, actually, because I'm heading into town tomorrow. And um, no, not tomorrow. Friday. Sorry. I, I thought tomorrow was Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> right. OK. Um wondering whether to stamp. I've got colour and contour here and I just wanted a, a very different type of texture in here. So that's why I've got this one too. 
And again, I'm going to I'm trying to keep to the purples for the flowers and then grey for the foliage. That's my kind of aim. So let's see how this looks. Nice. Try not to forget the corners. Hi Claire, hi Wendy. We've got two Newtonians in the house now. We've got Tuffy Crafting, Donna, who lives in Newtown, and Wendy, who used to live in Newtown. <laughs> Fabulous. Right, now I'm wondering about this stamp here. This is never been inked. Got to do the old sniff. <laughs> is it just me that does it? Am I weird? Got to sniff the new stamp. <laughs> uh, hi, Miss Phoebe. Did she just sneak in there? Right, I don't want this leaf. Sorry, I don't want the large leaf. I've got the sm small leaf. And do I want the small leaf? Hmm, I don't know. Oh well, I've done it now. Okay, right. I'm just carefully inking it so I don't get that second leaf. I just want that section there. I'm looking where I have a healthy gap <laughs> in my design because this stamp is quite big, this image rather. There we go. Now, can I fit one in there? Yes, I think one will go there. <laughs> that you will. Hello, Elizabeth Falkmer. Welcome. Oh, I'll have you all stamp sniffing now. <laughs> they just have a particular smell about them. They, I can't say it's pleasant. It just, it just has a new smell, new stamp smell. And yeah, yeah. I don't know if all brands smell like Stampin' Up or Stampin' Up smells unique. I guess it's a slightly chemically smell. But... Okay, there's a cute little bud. So I'll add a few of these. This is a nice different kind of texture. And I'm kind of trying not to overlap too much with the purple because we've got some grey leaves to go in here yet. Lots of grey leaves. So I'm just bearing in mind that they've got to go somewhere. I can have a few of these cute buds and if you're very careful how you stamp them it can look like they're coming from behind the poppies like so which is quite cute hi bear yeah it's kind of like a new kai hi deborah hi kathy oh yes i love the smell of gasoline <laughs> and new leather shoes <gasps> I can't resist like a leather Bible. The smell of a leather Bible. Is is Sheila on here yet? Miss Sheila has got something new to sniff. I won't spoil the surprise. I'll wait for her to get on and tell you. You like exhaust fumes? Hi, <laughs> Kathy. This is colour and contour. 
that I'm using at the moment, but I just used painted poppies for the poppies. Right, now I'm going to do some colouring in. So I'm actually going to bring back this one here, Art in Blue. Sorry, not bring back, bring in Art in Bloom because I figured that this stamp here could colour in that poppy. I know it's too big, but bear with. And this one could colour this one in because I could do it with the blob that's in here. I could. Let's see which one would look better. Put that. I don't know. I quite like the fact this is a bit bigger. So I thought I may as well make that one a bit bigger. Just to see. Let's just see what happens, everybody. So I'm going to get... Oh, actually, I've got fresh freesia here. I'm doing about stamping that in fresh freesia to start off with. And then if I feel that I need to go darker, I could go darker later on. So let's see what happens. There's a new car spray smell. Ah. <gasps> Right, where are my mats? Oh, they're right here. I should have been using these earlier, really. Right, so we're going to colour in these poppy things. I know they're the wrong flower, I know, but I just want to get some colour in there. And... Sometimes it's nice to do things that aren't exactly how it is in the catalogue or how it was designed to be, so that you can create something unique for yourself. Oh no, I'm done. <laughs> right, clean that off. Good night. Good night, Donna. Rest well. Okay, so that's the other one. Quite like it. Though I feel like I could do with something darker in the centres, but I'm, I'm going to have a think about that one. Actually, I think I've spotted what I could do. No, nope, I'm done with that now. Right, that's done. Just spotted this little speckle stamp, which I used to love using. I'm wondering about stamping maybe some Highland Heather. I feel like Rich Razzleberry would be too dark. So I'm not going to use that. I just want something to add to the centres. Yeah, that's perfect. A little bit of interest. Oh, I forgot one. I will come back to that. Right, okay, I likey like. There we go. Just having a quick swig of my coffee. Right, um, I'm going to, oh, now, shall I try doing something in the centres of those? Hmm, mm -mm -mm. trying to see if I've got anything appropriate. Hmm. I will come back to that. Unless I do two lots, I can have a little try. Or three. Do some kind of stamping off technique. Oh yeah, no, that's okay. Oh, I quite like that. It's just different, isn't it? It feels painterly. It feels like I've painted this on, doesn't it? 
Yep, okay, can live with that. Very nice. Right, now I want the bits that colour in this one. Yes, very watercolory. Good, good term there, watercolory. Now you don't have to be precise with this. You can just kind of whack it on. Doesn't matter if you miss a little bit because that's what it's meant to be like. Make sure I get the one down here. Go and oh, got to get the now. I'm wondering whether to be brave and do this now in Highland Heather because I feel like I need a different kind of purple in here now just to make it a bit more interesting. Now, is there a way of lining this up? I don't think there is. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to aim for the middle. Not really think about it too much. I think if you overthink it, you just will be there far too long and you won't enjoy the process. So there we go. Right. Right. I like that. Then we have the little bud. Little buddy. Clean that one off. So this is the little bud that you can colour the little pre-stamped pre ones. Ooh, I'm going to do a bit of stamping off as a second generation. I don't feel like I have to do first generation each time just to get a bit of a lighter variation there. That's quite nice. Do a dark one there and a light one there because I've got the dark purple there. Cute, I like that. Right, oh, missed one, missed one there. Hmm, okay. Now we could do with something in the centres of these. A little bit more texture, I think. Think. Let's have a think. Hmm. I could get the fresh freezer back again to do the centres. Yeah, it it I'm not sure it would work the same as mixing paint, Martina, because you've got the paper to factor in. But yes, it does sort of happen a little bit. Um, you know, whenever I do ink blending. I talk about that, like if you do mix yellow and blue next to each other on paper, it, there is a little bit of mixing that does happen. But because you've got the paper in there in the mix, it doesn't always behave quite predict how you predict it might. So, right, there we go. So there's a little bit of the fresh freezer in there, which is kind of quite a pinky purpley colour there. So, ah, uh, sorry, it's going to be purple and grey. I'm not going to budge from that just yet. Right, so now I've got these lovely florals in the mix. I'm going to open this one because I want some grey. So I definitely want this little leaf. And I think I might go for the Linda Yamikoto technique with this one as well. So let's swap this out and use some basic grey. Okay, okay, says Phoebe. Have I done all the buds now? Yeah, I'm looking at the screen. It's a bit easier sometimes to look up and see my screen. 
Okay, so as usual, I'm being very careful how I ink this. I'm deliberately kind of missing out that bit of stem there. Yeah, she does get A for effort. I'm trying to thwart me. I have a plan, Miss Phoebe. I don't often have a plan. So you're going to have to let me have my plan this week. <laughs> oh, that I love that. Love that. Oh, let's have a look. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Yeah, I've only got two shades so far, Miss Martina. My life isn't that exciting. It's exciting, but not that exciting. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do a little bit over here, perhaps. Has anyone been watching the Olympics? So currently we've got the Olympics in Japan happening and the British swimming team are doing pretty good. Quite exciting for us. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I've got lots more to go on. Ruth, what is under the big flower in the middle? Under? Under? What do you mean under? Oh, what did I stamp the fresh freezer in? I used the Art in Bloom. That one and... Oh no, I meant to choose that one. I wondered why the petals were so frilly. Oh well, never mind. So I chose those two. Right, let's do some more leafage. We've got... Oh, I did take that one out earlier, didn't I? Yes, let's use this one. Oh no, Martina's so cheeky. Okay. Let's see how this one works again. I'm being very careful how I ink it. So I can tuck it right in under that flower there. I think I want it for full strength again. Let's do that bit here. Actually, Mart uh, not Martina, Linda, I've just realised that that bud, potentially you could use that to stamp that section there. Potentially. I've just got an ink the stem, didn't mean to do that. Right, let's have that one coming up through there to meet that one. Ooh, that's a nice spot for that one. And we've got space up here. How was your wedding at the weekend, Miss Phoebe? Miss Phoebe was away. Did you have a good time? If anyone was wondering how Miss Louise is doing, she's doing great. She ha she was in the hospital today, but she she's come out. I don't know if she's watching actually. But um, hi Louise, if you're watching this on the replay. So thank you for all your for those of you who've been praying for her. Which blocks do you find you you use the most or have the most of? Um, I have quite a few of the little ones, the A's, the C's and the B's, um, and the D's, I guess. I wouldn't be without any of them, but I guess I use the A, B, C, D ones more often. And then 
the bigger ones obviously for slightly bigger stamps yeah good question if if you're in, going to invest in all the blocks i would say make sure you get the whole if you buy the whole set in one go you get a, a discount and then if you find that you use a few more of one then get some more as you go along okay so here we have just a little bit of a different texture this kind of fur, ferny type thing and I'm thinking about going in there with a slightly different grey just to make it a bit different so I've got a smoky slate and then I did pick out grey granite don't need to find it again oh I've got so many things on my desk well done Smoky Snake, Basic Grey, Fresh Freesia. Oh! It's disappeared! It's one thing that fell on my... fell on the floor. But I had it earlier, I took a photograph of it. How bizarre! Stumped me that has. Hmm. Smoke. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Sahara sand out, but I don't really want to get Sahara sand out because I really wanted grey granite. Okay, okay, come on. It can't have gone far. Come on, where have you gone? I know I did drop one earlier, but I thought I picked it up. <sighs> Come on, where are you? Did I put you back? No. You feel like you're going mad. I'm going to stand up, see if I can find it standing up. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Every single day of my life. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's not gone that far. Oh, that is the oddest thing. Okay, right, I'm just going to get on with Sahara Sand because. I haven't got time to waste and I haven't got to, I don't want to waste your time too. Okay, let's get some of this lovely foliage in here. Kind of looking a little bit for gaps. And where we can juxtapose like the fern against some of the other leaves. Are they in my ink pad file? No, 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 no. I took it out. And I'm sure that the opening photograph of this video that I took before I went live had it in it. I don't know if I moved. Oh, excuse me. Moved it somewhere. <clears throat> or perhaps I did drop it and didn't. It's very hard to see in the dark. Okay, you know what? I've just got to let it go. It's not going to make an appearance tonight. Right, so a little bit there, a little bit there, and ooh, a bit there. Oh, 
oh yes it's going to need a bit of dotage I agree yeah and we, we do have one in that colour and contour set actually hi Kelly thanks to all of you I recognise a number of names from watching a replay oh you're so welcome Kelly I know you do get to recognise different people and what's really nice is if you ever get to come on a Zoom with us, you also then get to know people's faces and their personalities a bit more and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I can't believe I've just lost an ink pad. It's just so silly. It's like... So silly. Oh well. Right. Um, I don't know whether to, whether it's in keeping with this or not, to add a more delicate fern. Or we could add some tiny little flowers that are in this stamp set here. Or, hmm. Oh, I was going to colour these in. Let me do that first before I start deciding to do anything else. Oops, all that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's just fix that a bit. Pop a bit more in here. Yes, I wanted to colour in this. Now, do I have a light? Oh, that's dark Highland Heather. So we've got a light Highland Heather. There it is. Oh, I don't know, Cher. I have not thought about it. I'm about to go on a holiday, a week's holiday. So I'm afraid I'm kind of gearing up for that at the moment. I spent a few hours in my son's bedroom today. My son's, you know, plural, because they, the three of them share this big bedroom. And spent the time sorting out old clothes, bedding, I, I was a bit naughty. At one point, I found about four towels near one son's bed. And I was like, oh, I can't believe it. Why has he got so many towels next to him? And then I realised it was left over from the other day when, did I tell you that my boiler leaked? And so we were trying to rescue towels out of the boiler cupboard. And I think I just flung them to the other side of the room. So... You know, initially I blamed my son, but actually it wasn't his fault at all. Um, yeah, so I was sorting out bedding, moving some furniture around. Oh, I've missed two. Someone did say earlier, didn't you? And yeah, so I'm just explaining what I've been up to today. Doesn't the cluster of dots line up there? Oh, these ones. Possibly, yeah. I think you should be able to stamp that on... No, I thought you could stamp that on that. No, it's you can stamp that on that. That's what it is. Yeah, so you get this kind of variegated leaf. Yeah. Yes, Subu, we are. Hi, Patricia. Lovely to see you. I'm here for a bit. I just arrived in my group in Denali. Where's Den Is that in Alaska? I don't know where that is. I'm going to have to Google that. Oh, I had a, while I was out, I had a 
<laughs> right, while I was out at the garage, because my husband put the gar our car into, uh, it's, it's been leaking, and so we've been trying to get it fixed. And it turns out that the part that we need for this car, um, it's not being manufactured anymore, which is jolly helpful. So we might be on the lookout for a new car. Anyway, while I was there, I had a phone call from my mother-in-law uh, to ask me where the village of Moore is. M-O-R-E. Because I think she thought it was a joke. Um, my One of my nephews is going to be meeting her there. And uh, she said, where is Moore? <laughs> I was like, uh... I said, I don't know. So I googled it. And it, lo and behold, it's a real place. So I'm going to have to try and, you know, encourage my grandmother, not my grandmother, my mother-in-law, my children's grandmother, in the art of using Google Maps. She knows how to use Google, but I don't think she's so au fait with Google Maps. So... That will be the next thing. We are slowly trying to educate them in the art of Googling. So. No, more as in M-O-R-E. More. More food, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw a quick review of the place and it said something like, when less is more. <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. Right. I feel like I need, I'm a little bit reluctant to bring in another stamp set, but I do feel like I need something a little bit more delicate in there. So I'm going to bring in a stamp that I didn't use yesterday. I used this stamp set last night, didn't I? But I'm going to use this one because I didn't end up using it. And it's this cute little ferny thing. And it's so pretty. I cannot resist it. So I'm going to get basic grey back out again. Delali Del National Park. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Sandra. Hi, Margaret. Good morning, Australia. <clears throat> Oh, oh, be still my heart. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Can you all see that? Do I need to come in closer? Pray silence for the fern. Kia ora. He is showing up well. Oh, good. Hi, Pamela. Nice to see you. It's just so nice to have that little bit of contrasting style of foliage in there, isn't it? Because it helps show off the other foliage. Hi from Australia, Patricia Oliver Rutherford. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, 
there we go guys oh i've just spotted a spot that needs some more just get it stamped off in there so at this point i look for the gaps now I'm looking for where there's kind of some spaces between flowers that just look perhaps a bit odd. So it's useful to use something like this to fill those little gaps. Because what can happen is that your eye is drawn to the gaps. It doesn't really then notice the lovely flowers so lots of Aussies yeah lots of Aussies watching <laughs> oh yes have a lovely time Bev yes wrap up warm lots of hats and scarves and things <coughs> all right I think a little bit of oh blackberry bliss dotage. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Just noticed I have not done some fresh freezer over there. Right, da da. That'll do. Oh, I've missed Mr. Bud there. Oh, wrong colour. Ah, I put the wrong pen pen lid on. Right, hold on. I've got to make sure I get the right one now. So that's dark Highland Heather. Swap the lids. So don't do what Ruth did and swap the lids. Just wanted to see what it was like to add some extra texture there and then use the pen just to blend in a bit more. So the beauty of the blends, they come in sets of two of single colours, so this is Highland Heather, and it means it makes blending so much easier. Because you can build up the colour bit by bit. Oh, now I've just noticed that where my buds, kind of, where are they gone? These ones start. There's a bit of a white gap, so I'm going to get my smoky slate, this dark smoky slate, and I'm just going to fill in just at the base there with the grey, because of course that would be technically green. And so I've done all the foliage which would have been green and grey, so it makes it okay to do that. So just find them all, do that. Just add something, doesn't it? Have I done them all? No, not these ones. Just notice also that little leaf there, but it's a bit of a squiggly leaf, so it's not so obvious. I'll get my light one for that. I think where it's obvious that it hasn't got any colour on it. See, that's got a bit of brown on it, so that's alright. That's got a bit of brown too. Well, that one's just a little there. Right. Okay, now time for the old dotage. Hi, Anne. Oh, yes, please do attend one of my classes. I They're quite, um, I was going to say the word intense, but um, I, I don't mean intense as in, not enjoyable i mean intense in that you end up if you've not, not done it before you end up learning quite a bit 
and it will give you the confidence to have a go. Uh, the other option is uh, just to keep watching some of my videos and I've got a whole playlist of One Sheet Wonder videos, stamped One Sheet Wonder videos and the more you watch and then just have a go, it's only stamps and paper and ink Okay, it can't answer you back and the one thing I would say is even if you think it's a bit of a mess cut it up before you judge so cut it up into you know whatever you would make your cards with because seeing it in small doses is so different from seeing it as one big sheet so if you feel like you've made a mistake somewhere honestly it really won't show up when you cut it up so lots of people say that. Also, do join Artful Stamping Space. It's a really supportive community of people who do this type of stamping after watching me. And you can share your photographs on there. If you want critique, if you actually want somebody to give you some advice, then please ask for it. Otherwise, people will just comment and say what the, you know that what they like about it. But if generally we don't give critique unless people ask, because you know sometimes people are sensitive to that. So, right, I think that's it. So let me just explain. So if you're going to cut this up now, let's have a look and see what this would look like cut up into six pieces. Now you see that doesn't work for me. However, cut up into three, if we were going to make three slim line cards, what I call fat slim line cards, that would work. Just lift that up there. Because the light's getting to it a bit. Ah, oh, thank you, Patricia. <laughs> I've made my own DSP with the same stamp and coloured it in. There we go. Fantastic. So you've already had a go. So. Oh, funny, Glenna. Yeah. Well, this is basically making your own DSP. It's the same process. It's just I love mixing stamps. That's all. I like taking stamps from different sets and mixing them together to make my own kind of look. So. Yeah. I'm afraid my chat will disappear as soon as I enlarge my screen. Oh, well, as soon as you make it smaller, share, it will come back. Okay, so that's what it would look like cut into three. Then if you wanted to do slim line, even more slimmer slim line, that's what it would look like. So that's how that looks. So yeah, I, th I mean that could work. Move that across to there. That's quite nice actually because you've got this kind of like breathing space at this point here and here and here and here and here. Yeah, just works, doesn't it? And then if you wanted to cut it into four sections. Let's see what that would look like. Oh, that's quite pretty as well. You get a full on okay there and there. But on the bottom ones, you get sort of a section here with a little bit creeping in here and a tiny bit up there, which is really good because you've got the, the three, you know, the rule of three there happening. One, two, three purples. And then here you've got the rule of three again. One, two, three. So isn't that interesting? By kind of going for three clusters, you end up with, with that. So what would happen if you did that? Oh, that's interesting. So you get, get that, that, that. And then you could just do a long slim one there and then a little tag. That would be cute as well. 
Where can I find the templates? Oh, Elizabeth, just make them yourself, my darling. So just get some either some uh, clear transparency, anything clear-ish. So this is the Stampin' Up vellum. And I've literally just drawn Sharpie on this one. So this, the lines measure six, I think they're six and a half centimetres, these ones. And then this is just some dividing dividers 12 by 12 dividers for my 12 by 12 paper um so they're kind of like a semi-clear plastic and i've literally just drawn sharpie on them that's super duper easy just do them yourself and then you can keep them and i've actually come to realize that the because i've done this for 12 by 12 but the way that our uk sizing works you can get a rough idea it's not perfect but you get a rough idea by using it that way round or that way so you know, you don't have to use lots of it if you don't, of, of this plasticky stuff, if you don't have a lot of it. But um, the, people often have acetate lying around. Like, I've, I've had so many kind offers of acetate. People have messaged me going, I've got a whole stack of acetate. My dad did it the other day. He messaged myself and Esther and said, I've got a pile of acetate. Do you want it? Um, so, you know, once people know that you're on the lookout for it, people will send it. So... I'm so in love with the templates you show and now do it quite often. There we go. It's it's helpful, isn't it, um, Patricia? Thank you, Linda. Yeah, the template video. Fab. Hi, Melanie. Yeah, it's basically Sharpie. Black Sharpie or black um, stamp, and write, stamp and blend, you know, because that's alcohol based. So that will dry really quickly. Uh, you can use that if you want to. And yeah, you just draw... And then you can figure out how you want it. And you can use that on DSP as well. You don't have to use it just on your own stamp sheets. Let's grab a piece of DSP. Um, I think I did print out my DSP with me. Oh, didn't I? Did I or didn't I? I supposed to have. Oh, dear. I'm not a very good girl sometimes. Sorry, bear with. I'm just looking for my packs of DSP. I thought I'd pack them away. Oh well, I might just grab an old one out so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. Although, a lot of the stamping up paper the designs aren't as big as the ones that I do, so it doesn't always kind of translate that well, really. Okay, so look, there's one. That's this is an old one. This is a piece of twelve by twelve, but yeah, you you kind of get an idea there. So that's lots of lovely little clusters and things. There we go. Anyway, my point is that you can use it for other things, not just your own stamped stuff. But it does help. It does help to figure out how to cut stuff up. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you can use sheet protectors. You can, yeah. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. That's very, um, I'm very honoured. Uh, you're not the first to have said it, but um, I often, my, my, the same reply that I give everybody else is I get so much joy from teaching other people how to do it for themselves. And basically, it's kind of empowering people, really, to say, look, get out your stamps, see what you've got already, and enjoy the process. And, you know, I, I'd rather teach people to enjoy stamping rather than buying a piece of paper, to be quite honest. I'd rather people bought the stamps for themselves and enjoyed the process rather than buying more paper. Yeah, does that make sense? I mean, if you like paper, I'm not going to stop you. But um, it's just what I do. That's my thing. That's my bag, as they say. So, you're so... Is that the one... Oh, yes. Linda, Linda knows my channel very well. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You're a star. Right. Let's go over the colours. 
Right, so I didn't actually end up using rich razzleberry, so I can say goodbye to you. You can go off and find grey granite, please, rich razzleberry. So I started off with blackberry bliss, and that's what I stamped the poppies in. I then coloured them in with fresh freesia. Then I stamped the daisy like cosmosy looking flower in gorgeous grape and coloured it in with Highland Heather and then also stamped some of that spottage splatter, mini splatter with the Highland Heather. Oh, take care, Janine. Lovely to see you. Then stamped some leaves and foliage and so on in basic grey. Did I use smoky slate in the end? I don't think I did. I think I did all stamp it, second generation stamping. So basic grey stamped off is a lighter grey. Then use Sahara sand in there just to create a little bit of a slightly different colour in there because I couldn't find my grey granite, even though I had it on my desk earlier on in the evening. It decided to go for a walk. It's either that or I have pixies. Right, stamps wise, while I just clean this one, because Blackberry Bliss is a nightmare for turning my stamps pink. Um, we used painted poppies. The poppies and the splatter. Now you could use that splatter if you wanted to, and you could have used some of these leaves as well. Christmas season, back. Uh, it's going to be not back. Going to be available for customers from the third of August. Not long to go. Merriest moments. I just used that little leaf there, and I did use that dotage there. Oh, I was meant to use. Ah, now I thought I might use that, but I didn't, did not. Colour and in contour, I was going to use that dotage there. Oh, I might have to go over it again. And use that daisy, that flower and that bud. And then in art in bloom, I used those two stamps. Oh, I was going to do some little purple flowers as well. Oh, I'm just going to have to keep going now. Oh dear, oh dear dear. Now I did do a bit of stamp surgery on the, this and I'm actually going to not put it back exactly really how I, sorry, exactly how Stampin' Up! designed it. I'm actually going to pull that one away. Can you see that? Right, let's get, I think some Highland Heather. Uh, merci beaucoup, Frédéric. Bonne soirée. Bonne nuit. Merci. Now, how do I say thank you for joining in? Is it merci beaucoup? Uh, how do you say? Is it partagé? Something partagé. Come on, you French speakers, please help me here. Frederic can help me, I'm sure. Bonne soirée à tout le monde. Right. I quite like that bit of purple with little flowers. Thank you, Georgiana. I think purple is quite a few people's favourites. And I think some people may be nervous about using the different types of purple together because we have slightly more bluey based purples and um, more pinky based purples. Ah, oh, merci, Linda. Merci de nous rejoindre. Rejoindre? Rejoindre? Is that right? I said that right. Okay, I'm going to go in with. Um, <laughs> there we go. 
Merci beaucoup de te joindre à nous. Joindre à nous. Right, I think we're going to go in with some gorgeous great this time. Well, Google is a start. I would say that. You're not going to... My, my daughter watches the most hilarious videos on YouTube where people have taken songs or words, like fra uh, phrases, or the latest one was um, the instructions to do with uh, keeping safe during or COVID or something. And they put it through Google Translate and then they get Google to translate it back or they get it translated into like another language and then another language and another language and then back to English. And there's a girl who writes songs based on Google Translate, like Google Translate. Oh, no, not, not write songs. Sorry. She'll put a song through uh, Google Translate a few times and then she'll try and fit the words back into the original song. It's very, very funny. My daughter thinks it's hilarious. Oh, you're welcome, Kelly. Take care, Joanna. There we go. More splattage. Don't I might have overdone it. <laughs> I know I don't usually say that, but you can't overdo it, can you? It's just too pretty. Yes. Oh, I am very honoured, Miss Phoebe. Yes, you are quite purple challenged. In fact, do you have you only just recently got Highland Heather or is it Gorgeous Grape? I can't remember you've got one of these. J'adore Google. Is that how you would say it? Do you say Google or Google in French? Google. <laughs> no, that would have to have a little accent on the E to be Google. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because that this is a pretty long one, but it's very detailed and very pretty. So it's kind of a worth it one. This is like stamping for your favourite people. <laughs> oh, please do, Elizabeth. Oh, fantastic, Wendy. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. Um... <laughs> right take care for now everybody please give me a thumbs up on the way out and consider subscribing if you haven't already it's just a much easier way of being able to find me again um, or if you ever get really stuck and you don't know where to find me please head to www.onesheetwonder.co.uk and you will be directed directly directed directly to my playlist of one sheet wonders so stamped one sheet wonders so you know if ever you think oh, i can't find her where is she and that will take you directly to my my list on youtube and then you'll be able to find me on youtube again so one sheet wonder.co.uk that's me so take care everybody thank you suzanne Lovely to see you and I'll see you guys again, God willing, tomorrow. I'm off to do some really interesting training, actually, in fact. Um, it's called APT Training and I may have told you, some of you, about an organisation that makes furniture from cardboard and flour and water. And the benefit of being able to do that is so that you can make custom make made furniture for people, particularly children, who have got disabilities and they perhaps their bodies are slightly uh, curved or, or whatever and they need custom made furniture particularly people with cerebral palsy who perhaps need support uh, in certain areas and so what's great about being able to you know make furniture from cardboard is that you can cut it specifically to the size of the person so um, Ruth from the Potter's House uh, the charity that I'm I'm involved in um, has organised for a lady to come and do some training on it. So that is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. It's quite exciting, really. So I will tell you all about that tomorrow. OK, lots of love, everybody. Good night and God bless. I'm going to leave you with a little bit more of a close-up of the, the paper. Let's see if I can get down a bit lower than that.
Oh, Miss Cindy, you're going to have to watch the replay. You can't miss this one. So, there we go. The dotted in its all its glory. I will take a photograph, yes, for sure, before I, I cut this one up. Yeah, I'll put it on Artful Stamping Space. Okay, good night, y'all. Bye. Oh, thank you for the thumbs ups. Good night.